Hey everyone, welcome back to Lavendaire. It's Eileen. So this week I'm going to do a social media detox. I'm going to quit using social media for five days and vlog the journey, see how I feel, see how it benefits me or changes me. I already know that I'm going to be more productive just by trying to do this challenge, but we're gonna see what actually happens. So the reason I wanted to do this challenge was because I've noticed myself getting so distracted and spending so much time on my phone, on social media. I'll tell myself like oh I'm just gonna check my messages on Instagram check Twitter for a bit and then I get lost in the rabbit hole for like 30 minutes to an hour or more and it's just wasting so much time also I noticed that when I spend too much time on social media I start to compare myself to other people what I see other people doing and then it makes me feel more insecure it makes me wonder like hmm am I doing enough it just is not good for my mental health did you know the average American spends 4.7 hours on their phone every day? That's a lot of hours. And this is from an article I found from 2015, so I bet in 2018 it might be even worse. So I've actually used a couple apps to track the time that I spend on my phone. One that I used to use is called Moment, and one that I'm using now is called Space. So last week I spent the most time on my phone on Friday with a whopping five and a half hours on my phone and the shortest time that I spent on my phone was on Wednesday where I spent uh, 1.4 hours on my phone. You can also see how many times I picked up my phone to unlock it. So the most times I picked up my phone was 53 times on Thursday and 23 times on Saturday. So it's nice that I have that app so I can track how many times I pick up my phone and how long I'm spending on my phone. I'm just actually trying to decrease the amount of hours I spend looking at my phone each day. So for this social media detox, I'm going to set some rules for myself and you can follow these rules or create your own rules because obviously I've catered my rules to me and what I need to do for my job as well. So my rules are, number one, I cannot use my phone immediately upon waking and the only exception is to use my phone to play music. I tend to check YouTube or Instagram when I'm awake just because reading comments and things like that will wake me up, but I realize that that's a very distracting way to start my day. So another way that I like to wake up is to play music because like the music energizes my body. So that's the only exception where I can use my phone. Rule number two is I can only check my email on my phone once a day. And after looking at my phone once a day, if there are other emails that I need to like reply to and do work with, I'll do all of that on the desktop. That way I get less distracted. Rule number three is I'm going to delete every social media app I have on my phone except for Instagram and I'll tell you why. So I'm going to delete Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, anything else that I might have, but I want to keep Instagram because that's the only way that I can post photos on Instagram since it's still part of my job to post photos consistently. I'm only allowed to use Instagram for posting and if on a day I post, I'm allowed to check it once more just to reply to comments on the photo. For the other social media apps like YouTube, Facebook that I also have to use for work, I'm only allowed to do my work on the desktop. So only allowed to post YouTube videos, reply comments, and manage my Facebook groups on my desktop, but not on my phone. Are you ready? Let's start. All right, first things first, I'm going to delete the social media apps I have on my phone, excluding Instagram because I need that app to post. So here's my phone. I have a social media app folder, which I'm gonna start deleting these apps now. All right, switching to the vlog cam now. So I've just deleted all my apps and this morning I did not wake up to social media and I already feel much more productive because immediately I just got to work on preparing my next three videos. But right now I'm going to post on Instagram since I have like all these scheduled posts. And so I'm actually gonna make the post where I'm announcing my social media detox week. And after I'm done posting, I'm going to get off of Instagram and not check anything.
So I just went to eat dinner with a friend and the difference that I noticed was that when there was a wait for the restaurant, I couldn't use my phone to check social media or the time that my friend went to the restroom and I was sitting at the table, I did not check anything on my phone. I mean, the one thing that I thought of to do is to go through my photos and delete photos and videos that I needed to delete so that was my way to distract myself while waiting for my friend. Now I'm gonna go home and reply my comments from the Instagram post, reply any messages that I received and I won't browse any social media. It's been interesting to not have contact with the outside world today through social media which is how I normally feel. I've just been in my own world today. <laughs> I encountered a little issue so I wanted to share this Facebook event for the workbook launch party on Instagram stories to get RSVPs and interest and I because I deleted the Facebook app I couldn't really screenshot it using my phone which is what I would normally do so what I did was I screenshotted it on the desktop and airdropped that photo to my phone just a little extra step actually I should take this moment to just announce that I'm going to throw my first Lavender event celebrating the launch of the new workbook and the new planner so it's going to be in LA or OC so anyone who's in the area and would love to meet me I'd love to meet you um, I'll leave a link down below for the event page hopefully I'll have more planning done by the time this video is out right now I'm still in that like scary stage of nothing is really set in stone but I want to have an event so we're gonna see what happens <laughs> All right, I am back home now. I was just shooting a few videos with Kenna Campbell, Sugar Mama from Australia, which was really fun. It was so cool to meet her in person. But since like I woke up, had breakfast, and then went to shoot, I didn't really have time to like pick up my phone to go on social media, so that is good. I did pick up my phone to check email, and I noticed that I kind of do that on autopilot. I actually opened my phone to check email like two or three times. So yeah, I broke that rule. I mean, one of the times was to get Canna's phone number so I could text her. But anyway, now that I'm home, I'm gonna post some Instagram stories. I'll post a photo. This is my posting time. Alright, day two update. I noticed that since I'm not spending time on social media, I have a lot of time to knock out the little things. Like for the past three hours or so, I was literally knocking out all these things that have been on my to-do list. Like update my website pages, order foreign currency for my trip, like just a lot of admin stuff that I would usually ignore but because I have time I'm like I might as well just like do it so I've just been like knocking things out I have my little like to-do list that I've like knocked everything out there's a couple other things that I have to do I'm gonna unpack all of my gear from today's shoots then offload footage after that I'm just going to relax it's like 9 30 by the way my car's battery died today so I have to like get that fixed tomorrow and because that died it kind of pushed back some things but we'll see how I deal with it tomorrow not being able to use social media while waiting for my car to get fixed by the way I had a weird dream Instagram accidentally posted a series of weird pictures and videos on my account because of this new part of the app because I wasn't checking social media I didn't realize that something accidentally posted it was like just random pictures of like other people or like close-ups of someone's face and, and then when I checked it there were all these comments from people like what the heck is this oh this is so weird yeah that's weird because I've never had a dream like that before just me yeah okay so as I'm waiting about 30 minutes for someone to come help me jumpstart my car, normally I would probably kill time on social media, but I am now doing dishes and just whatever housework needs to be done as I wait to go fix my car. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm waiting. So things I can do is work on preparing some new videos. Hey guys, it's day four. Right now I'm driving to the YouTube space in LA actually. I'm going to a workshop for women YouTube creators. So it's a little easier to not be on social media when you're busy and have places to go. This morning was fine. I was just use music to wake up and got ready. Here I am. <laughs> By the way, I'm driving a loner car since my car is getting fixed, but isn't this so cool? It's like red. So I'm done with the workshop and right now I'm heading to dinner with Sahara Rose if you guys listen to my podcast She's the Ayurveda expert. So since I'm in the area I'm gonna have dinner with her But social media update is I did pretty good because I was in a workshop all day And the only time I did have to use it was like to find the social accounts of the people that I met today So I feel like that's a good exception All right currently in the car before I drive home. I'm gonna post my stories from today all right that was an eventful day now I'm going to drive home good night so it's Friday and I'm actually on the way to return this car and then after that I'm going to fly to San Francisco it's one of my girlfriend's birthday this weekend so I'm going up there and today I posted a new video normally I have that urge to check comments right when I wake up and answer comments but today I didn't do that on my phone. Instead, I got up and I did it on my desktop <laughs> because I didn't want to spend all the time on my phone. So I did the work on my desktop, which was fine. And yeah, I basically had a call and now I'm out and about. We'll see how it is at the airport without social media. After these five days though, I already feel more clear. Like my mind is clear. I do feel like things are quieter, maybe a little lonelier because I don't feel as connected to the outside world, but I think it's really good for my productivity and my mind. Yay, I got my car again. Now I gotta go home and then to the airport. media detox week is officially over it actually ended the first day of our trip so the next couple days I just hung out with friends went back on Instagram as usual the only other apps that I redownloaded were YouTube and YouTube studio so those are the apps that I use to reply to your comments on YouTube since I'm like traveling away from the computer I still like to reply comments every once in a while it's like my productive way to like kill time I guess when I have free time on my hands so on top of that, I think I will re-download Facebook because I have to use that for my job as well, just managing our Facebook groups. I realized though that I absolutely do not need to have the Twitter app on my phone because Twitter, there's no reason for me to go there. I go there to just check up on news and when I'm bored, I have nothing to look at. I just go there, read my mentions and stuff. It's just a waste of time. So I think I won't be re-downloading Twitter on my phone. I'll just check it on desktop after this week-long detox though I did feel more productive I felt like I could work with more clarity and I actually loved the feeling I felt like more centered more at peace on the other hand I did feel a little lonely kind of like things were a little too quiet because I was used to connecting with my friends or connecting with just people I follow online and I felt like throughout the week I was in my own world and just existing in like a little bubble another thing that I did miss from not being on social media was checking your stories about me because I get a lot of like at mentions on stories on Instagram and those expire within 24 hours so I just kind of like to look at them but throughout the week I didn't get to look at any of those mentions so it's kind of like I wonder what you guys posted about me regardless that's still a distraction and checking those things are just 
for my own enjoyment I don't really have a purpose to check like my mentions or comments or anything I could probably be better off spending my time being productive creating something so this is still I can tell already it's not a habit that I've ingrained yet I have to keep doing this longer and find like a balance not to completely detox from social media but just to check it a lot less and not get sucked into it so that I can have more time to be productive and balance out you know, my actual work versus checking what everybody's saying. It's still a learning process, but I do believe in the benefits of just unplugging from social media. I think everybody should do this at least monthly. It should be like a regular consistent thing. All right, so I think I'm gonna continue this week with another milder social media detox. I'll be able to post and check it more often, but definitely don't wanna go back to how I was before. Let's keep up the good habits. I hope that you guys try this as well definitely take some time to unplug from social media create your own rules whatever works for you good luck let me know how it goes let me know your thoughts in the comments and i'll see you guys next time bye